very much and enjoy. Thank you, Jessica. So, I have one more person I need to introduce to you, and he's a very, very important person because he's the person who takes care of everything that goes on behind me. So I would like to call up, do we know what the person who does this, what did they call up? Conductor? Well, sometimes we call him a drill sergeant, but we will call him a conductor today. So could we have a round of applause, please, for anybody who is a How many of you guys are big fans of movies? Raise your hand if you like to go to the movies. So you know how at the beginning of a movie, they'll play a really cool song as the credits are going, right? Um, so the same thing happened in a lot of Western classical music. There's a kind of musical piece called an opera. Anybody heard of an opera before? Heard of opera? Right? So at the beginning of an opera, Generally, there's a piece called an overture, right, or opening piece. And that's what we're going to play for you right now. This is the overture to an opera by a French composer named Georges Bizet. It's called Carmen, right, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. I'm Janaka Pushpanathan, and I'm the director for British Council in South India. Today, we are delighted that we are able to host the concert for friendship in Chennai in Tamil Nadu uh, with the support of Mr. A.R. Rahman's foundation, KM Music Conservatory and Sistema Scotland. Young orchestras, over 100 musicians are going to be up on stage today to perform several melodies, uh, fusion as well as uh, classical uh, music along with uh, this is called the Concert of Friendship because we are celebrating India's 75th anniversary and the uh, British Council is delighted to be able to provide young artists a platform to reach wide audiences. The brand ambassador for the season is Mr. A.R. Rahman and today's concert is supported by also the Tamil Nadu government and the J. Jalilitha uh, University of Fine Arts and Music. And how this concert is going to be very talents, musical so today, for instance, over 150 musicians are there on stage. These are orchestras from Chennai, from Nagaland, as well as Sistema Scotland, a big noise from Sistema Scotland. These young musicians have collaborated and spent almost a week together now in Chennai. But before that, for almost six months, they've been rehearsing and practicing uh, several music uh, compositions and offerings. They're also going to produce original music. So we believe that the power of music and collaboration is huge when two nations come together and this is part of the India-UK offering uh, for the season. What is the most challenging thing you did in India? I think the pandemic was quite challenging because we started con conceptualizing this during the pandemic. But I think technology has helped us overcome that challenge. And uh, when young people choose to collaborate, I think uh, no challenge is big enough. And we are happy that the British Council is able to support a collaboration like this. Uh, that's a really interesting question. Just a couple of days ago, uh, all the musicians were uh, at the Tamil Nadu Music University and we also hosted a policy dialogue at the British Council uh, just uh, yesterday where we had uh, the representatives from Tamil Nadu government, the culture secretary was there, Dr. Saumya from the Tamil Nadu University was there and these are exactly the conversations that we are having about uh, India-UK collaboration and collaboration between academic partners looking at capacity development as well as curriculum in the area of arts, education and music. Yes, so there are very much plans in progress. What next? What next? We believe that this is just the beginning of such a wonderful collaboration. Uh, we also believe that some of the research and outcomes from the policy dialogue will lead to a larger dialogue to improve creative economies of both India and the UK and we look forward to continuing this collaboration beyond the season. Thank you.